All right, guys. <clears throat> so we're on a Friday now. We're moving good. You guys are doing good. I'm proud of you guys. You guys are hanging in there. Okay, so there's a couple of new things. Let me get my highlighter out today. Uh, this is going to be something. Whoops. Number one is going to be something new. Okay. And then these bottom two are going to be something new. So what we talked about yesterday is that vertical angles are the same. Vertical angles are the same. Uh, or they're congruent, that's the same. So in math, the word congruent it, uh, means the same. Or it means they are equal. So when something's congruent, it means they're the same, which in math means they're equal. So let's kind of review real quick of our vertical angles. So our vertical angles, I'll do them in orange. So our vertical angles, real quick from yesterday, are going to be like, let's just call them 1 and 2. Those are vertical angles. So angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because they're congruent. So you can set them equal to each other. And this is what we did yesterday also. And then if I look at angles three and four since they're across from each other angle three and angle four are congruent so our vertical angles are congruent that's what we did yesterday so this top part here is what we did yesterday what we're adding today is another parallel line so these lines are parallel, meaning they're running in the exact same direction. And then, and they have the exact same slope, which we'll get to later. And then it, they're creating four more angles. So let's just kind of label these a different color. We'll do angles five and six. So that means for this particular one, angles five, and is equal to angle six. And then let's do our last one here. Let's do it in yellow. This is angle seven, and this is angle eight. Oops, that's a horrible way, isn't it? Let's try this again. There we go. So angle seven is angle eight. So those are congruent. Now, what makes it special about the fact that there's two parallel lines here is the fact that we have <clears throat> we have this idea here that <clears throat> let's go back to the highlighter let's do green so we'll highlight this in green from yesterday so they, these right here you know they follow these traits but what i'm going to show you today is that these new ones follow the exact same traits. So in other words, angle one is congruent to angle five because they're the same. Because if I take this piece and I slide it up here and I stack it on top of them, and I can't show you on this one, I wish I could. So uh, let's try that. let's try something. If I take this, oops, I just erased it. That's no bueno. Nope. Uh, control Z. There we go. Uh, let me try one more thing, guys. Let me try this. If I grab, it's not doing. It's not doing what I want. I want to grab it, guys, and it's not being nice. Nope, that's not it. Nope, it's not going to do it. I wanted to grab this line and move it up here. So if there are two parallel lines like this and we're dealing with vertical angles, these vertical angles here, oops, let's come up with a different color. These vertical angles here are the same as these vertical angles, oops, these vertical angles here. So that means that angle one is equal to angle two and angle five is 
equal to angle 6 because they're all congruent. angles. So if we take that same idea and we, let's just throw green in there. That means that angles three and four and angles seven and eight are all the same. So that means that angles three and four and angle seven and angle eight are all congruent. Angles. So that leads us to some different terminologies here. Since, and let's see if I can, let's see if I can kind of erase some of this stuff. Yeah, I can. There we go. All right, so... Let me just take away. Well, oops, let me go back one. There we go. Let's just kind of. There we go. We'll leave it like that. We'll put angle one back in there because I need to get to the examples for you guys. So angle one. So. These are considered interior angles because they're inside the two lines. So if this is three and this is four and this was seven. So three, two, three, five, and eight are all considered interior angles. And then <clears throat> one, four, seven, and six are considered uh Exterior angles. I'm looking at something here, and I don't like the way it states it. Hmm. No, that's true. Okay. So, if we, if we look at this and we say, okay, well, what about angles to and five well angles two and five are considered alternate exterior angles and two and five are equal to each other because they're both the same type of vertical angles in parallel lines and so we can do that with any one of these things so we'll take last one here let's take four and seven four and seven are exterior angles, they're alternating, they're on either side of the line, so four and seven are the same, so we can set them equal to each other. So let's just kind of tackle a problem here, so you guys can kind of get going. So let's tackle this here. Let me put two parallel lines here. Put one like that, and then, oops, not that. We're gonna do this. I don't want that. Stop that. We'll do that. And we'll put another parallel line here. That's not very parallel. They got to be the same slope. So there we go. No, that's not even the same slope. There we go. And then we will put a line cutting right through them. So we'll put a line that just kind of rips right through it there. All right, we'll just do that right there. That's perfect. So we're going to label this. Let's just label it angle, angle one, angle two, no, let's go, and uh, let's say, let me go backwards here, guys. Clear. Nope, not clear. We're going to relabel that angle two, 
angle three and angle one. So here's the idea. If angle two, if angle two and angle three are on a line like this, they equal 180 degrees. So we're going to do an angle two plus angle three equals 180. This is from last week's supplementary angles. So let's do that math real quick. We're going to do 6x plus 15 equals 45. And then we're going to go 6x equals 45 minus 15. And then 6x equals 30. X equals 5. So that means, move this up here. That means, I'll just write it out here. That means angle 2, which is this angle right here. Angle 2 is equal to 6 times 5 plus 15. Correct? So, oh, what did I do here? Erase that. Man, I'm not having a good day. So, angle 6 plus angle 15 plus 45 equals 180. And then we get 6x plus 60 equals 180. And then we get 6x equals 180 minus 60. 6x equals 120. And if we divide both sides by 6, we get 120 divided by 6 is 20. So now I can take my angle here and say, okay, well, 6 times 20 plus 15 for angle 2. This is angle 2. That's going to equal 120 plus 15, which is equal to 135. So angle 2 is equal to 135 here. Angle 3 is equal to 45. Now from up here, we know that angle 1 up here is going to be the same as the angle down here. So these two angles here are the same. Angle 2 and angle 1 are the same right here. So we end up with angle 1 equal to what angle 2 is because it's 135. Because angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because they're both exterior Oops, exterior vertical angles. So they're exterior vertical angles. All right, guys. So that's what we're going to go with. And good luck, and we'll see you soon.